Hello, hello everyone. This is Sam back on the Sammy channel. Welcome. It's been a while we've been streaming on Twitch. So let's get started. Um, new world tonight. I've been playing uh, during the holidays on this on this new land. So let me show you guys around. So this is my house or at least start of a house. It's not fully furnished the interior yet. Got a, um, that's my bedroom so far. So we're upstairs, got a view on the living room down below. And here will be a kitchen slash dining area. This is the living room with the high roof. And let's go in the back. I'm gonna show you the um, this patio area. And you can see from the uh, the map that we're in a place I call Waterfell House. And this world so far is called Naziris, that's why you see the Naziris cabin. Uh, don't know if I'm going to stick with that name yet. But yeah. So I decided to play some single player mostly for uh, being able to cheat. Yeah, I said it. Uh, no, basically, is I, I love playing survival uh, Conquest Reforge mod online on the Aether survivor, uh, survival server. However, sometimes I encounter a few bugs, like there's still problems in this Conquest Reforge 1.12.2 mod with mostly recipes and some unobtainable items and I really wanted to obtain them so what I'm doing is either I'm exchanging my resources for the unobtainable objects or I simply give it to me using some cheats also save my butt when you fall into lava I'm not gonna lie so this is my house and this is the main street that goes to the cabin we saw on the map earlier so the cabin I did in uh, creative mode to begin with, but the entire rest has been made in survival so far. So it's about two weeks of work. And uh, yeah, there was just a cabin. And that's where, like you can see here, that's the entrance to my very, very first mine on this world with some streaming crafting tables. And the rest followed. As you guys can see, I'm cultivating bell berries that's my main food source I'm gonna put this back on so yeah you've got the uh, the crops in this area next to the river river that cascades down all the way to the beach you can see on the map right here this is an entirely fake river that I'm at with Riverbeds, I'm gonna go down the stream in a moment to show you guys. We've got the whole day to show you around before it gets dark and then we're gonna get into some exploring. So yeah, that's the source I made with the waterfall and this bridge. You can see I used some steam blocks to, uh, well, to create some water spring and the cascade slash uh, waterfall there. More crops on this side with tobacco. So far it's mostly wheat and tobacco up here, but I've got also a small uh, garden behind my house. I'm going to show you in an instant. But here is the blacksmith house that's yet to be completed. As I said earlier, there's some unattainable items such as these ones, the toolkits, on the wall in the toolkit on this little rack uh, that are unobtainable so I added those in um, creative mode but the rest like you see my house built in survival so I thought I decorate like first I really started from the cabin and began my house and eventually I was like well what's the next building I could make and since the forge is kind of essential in any kind of medieval build. I decided I would build a huge furnace here that you can turn on and off 
by just right clicking the fire, there's a fire block inside of it. And this mechanic door. And I threw some some objects like there's a wheel being uh, being nailed or something. A few buckets lying around. This has yet to be completed in the interior. And there's probably gonna be some a few things I'm gonna change. I'm not really happy with how this interior is going. Like you can see I really stopped there and I don't I'm not quite sure where to go with this. So maybe we're gonna work on this, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see where this takes us. Um now um yeah so mostly around here is pretty empty like it's a new world obviously so there's this road that leads to nowhere for now but I made sure I had a few paths laid out same for the path going across the river this section of the river across the river is not built yet mostly using it to uh, to grow some trees and gather wood and let's go downhill I'm gonna show you guys the backyard of my house oh yeah I forgot to show you like since we got outside from the patio area I forgot to show you the basement of my house which is my storage area everything sorted classified like the good OCD guy I am so yeah you're gonna see me come back here quite often while I build since it's survival I need loads and loads of material and this is just the basic stuff that I needed to build what you've seen so far there's just gonna need way 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 more storage than this Oops, sorry about that so this is the garden I told you about earlier behind the house and seems like I didn't replant the corn that I had around here so let's just found corn in a in a mine shaft the other day let's tend to the land while we're going around <laughs> Throwing some hemp to make ropes and uh, burlap, basically. He's gonna be able to make uh, bags so we can decorate. And I'm keeping all my produce slash vegetables slash whatever that grows or can be cultivated in here. And I keep a few seeds in case something goes awfully wrong, the village burns and I need to rebuild. Well, I'm gonna have some seeds or in case I need to colonize some other area and this is where I put everything that's well redundant basically I don't yet have a, uh, a lava trash bin but we're gonna get there it's almost getting dark already so this is the fire block same as the one in the uh, the furnace up at the blacksmith so you can see we got access to the water pretty cool setup and this next building here that's brand new you might have seen it on my twitter if you don't follow me on twitter please do so i post some updates and pictures and also talking to uh, my fellow creators um, from minecraft and the uh, conquest team basically so this is kind of a guild house i don't know why but i thought i would make a small house to begin with and it turned out to be this gigantic gigantic thing sorry with uh, an inner courtyard these are stable uh, for the uh, the horses same one here with another horse and there's also this larger area here that I'm probably going to be using to breed more horses as we go along. That's why I wanted a bit more space in this box rather than the two up here. I wanted more space. And in here, it's not fully decorated yet, but it's taking shape. 
this is gonna be the guild house, uh, mostly well storage area. There's storage in here below the staircase. Um, I have to figure out what I put in here besides the this fireplace. Now let's go up these stairs. It's kind of the welcome office for people who wish to discuss stuff with the guild members or it's the general entrance for pretty much everyone. And then since the passageway is above the gate and it's getting dark outside. You can see we're pretty safe with my army of little doggies down there. If anyone tries to become too close and we see the uh, the mobs spawning on the map slowly getting some creatures yeah there's creatures spawning all around this is going to be um probably office or leisure with maybe uh, chess tables or stuff i'm not sure what i'm gonna put here it's gonna be an office space for the guild leader This is another question mark. I really don't know what I'm going to put in here. But this is the great hall where everyone can have a good meal, have a good drink. And you can see, like, there's going to be tons and tons of chairs around this, like there is with this. Loads of people, is like 14 chairs around. So this guild house is for many many villagers slash warriors. I, I'm I'm still not sure what kind of guild this is gonna be. Anyway, down below we've got the kitchen that I decorated yesterday. It's pretty much done so far. There's the uh, the bread oven with the warm bricks, um, potatoes sag there. Drink tobacco, hanging fishes, some counter and spices, obviously some wine bottles in the corner, and a grain chest. All the basic stuff to make some meals for all this little army that eventually I want to populate this this space with villagers that I converted from zombie villagers. We're not there yet, but eventually we're gonna get there. I want to make this place a living place. And since it's a single player uh, world, there's not many people besides me. So that's it for the village. And we've got some fight coming up. And there you go. And drop some carrots. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. So let's go back inside and skip this night. I just realized I forgot to show you guys the attic of the uh, the guild house where there's the bunk beds and the enchanting table. You guys are gonna be able to see it eventually. All right, so this was the initial tour. Now let's just get on with business. And let's see where I was at. Like I wanted to tend to, to stuff around here. Let's just clean up the inventory a bit. There's tons of windows. Cat reds were already full. So into the overflow bin. I don't know if you guys have this kind of sorting uh, system, but I like to my stuff to be really, really ordered and easy to find. I'm not one for a messy chest. I prefer when it's really, really tidied up. Gonna grab my bucket of water. If you guys have seen my... Uh, my Sam made avatar, you know that I've got a pickaxe and my loyal bucket of water because you never know when you're gonna need 
<laughs> some water to cover a path over uh, lava or something like that when you're mining. As you can see, there's also some melons growing that I, I planted earlier. All right, so let's go to the crops. like so far I've not really made up my mind about what I would like to do with this world but I'd really really enjoy for a, um, a world that evolves and I don't plan on changing it I wanna one thing's for sure I want to take this world and take it as far as it can go during all 2019 that's pretty much what I've been doing for the past years. Last year was um, Black Crown and Ariely. If you guys saw on my YouTube channel a few videos from these parts, they're my uh, previous world. Had loads and loads of fun. You've probably seen in the intro, uh, most of these buildings were uh, from Black Crown. There was also this. Um, this first world that I started with, uh, well, when Conquest Reforge 1.12.2 got released, I, um, I created a world called, called Romancia that had a uh, Mediterranean biome setting that I wanted to make some kind of uh, Roman or antiquity style to it, but I kind of lacked inspiration and it kind of fell dead don't know maybe we're gonna reboot this one also later but so far i really like this game that's why i really wanted to start the world before um starting the streams about it because i want to make sure i'm going to stick to it and this one i'm confident i'm going to stick to it uh, more seeds. All full of tobacco seeds, so they're gonna go into the bin, same as these regular seeds. We always get way too many of those. <laughs> I'm not sure how how huge fields needs to be, but maybe on bigger servers it's really useful to scale fields much, 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 much faster. But yeah. So let's take the way all the way down to the beach because yeah we're near a beach near an ocean which is going to become eventually a really really busy and active port but so far it's just a quiet beach where you can see I grow spruce trees and these kind of trees I don't remember the name let's just fill up the inventory I think they're horse chestnut trees, yeah. Horse chestnut saplings. Um, oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. We've got some more there. So it's still pretty basic. And there goes my axe. And like you see, I've basically I'm still in the Iron Age mostly. I've got one diamond pickaxe so far, and that's also my first enchanted thing that I managed to uh, to craft yesterday. So um, now I'm able to uh, well, I've got two these two sorry that are enchanted. So yeah, I managed to uh, find a few diamonds to begin. Uh, the real thing basically mostly so far it was i wouldn't say it was just survival but 
it was getting up to speed and I wanted to save you guys this this painful moment anyway I hope to continue streaming all throughout the year and be able to um, to establish other places than this village so if you guys are interested in seeing how to get started with survival in a completely uncolonized place you'll see that in a while there's tons and tons and tons of cool biomes I've explored around the uh, the sea here um, let me just bring you the map in a second I'm trying to find a sapling there you go so yeah let me bring you the map oh too zoomed in well 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 sorry about that the game crashed so did Streamlabs. So, as I was saying before the uh, the crash, I wanted to show you guys the map. So here we are. So we're on the shore of this gigantic. Oops, sorry about that. This gigantic uh, ocean next to probably another as gigantic ocean still yet to be explored. But as you can see, I've circled the ocean for the most part. I've went to the north quite far, all the way to crossing like um, tons of forests, deserts, mesas, red deserts, uh, more forests. There was also the Lorian forest here, some marshes way, way, way up north. That led me to uh, more uh, wetlands like this, this bog here. And more Mesa Extreme, like the north is pretty much just Mesa and deserts and forest around this um, this place is mostly the deciduous forest with some, uh, well, lots and lots of beaches. This way is still the same kind of forest, but where it gets interesting also is right here in the west where we've got um forest flower we've got mountains we've got mediterranean we've got boreal forest it's much more diverse in this area we've got some tundra right here we've got tundra marshes more forests more flower plains and old growth forest over there so and there's a moorland in this in this region some tundra over here with uh, more mountains. So yeah, I've I found pretty much every biome that I might need. There's still a Japanese forest that I might want at some point, but uh, so far it's going pretty well. And um, let's keep tending to the trees, making sure we replant those, have a good supply of wood. So yeah, as I said on Twitter before starting the stream about an hour ago, I want to start planning a bit more where I'm going to go with this village. So it's getting dark already. Let's go back home before it gets too, too dark and monsters come out. Oh yeah, I've got a huge, uh, a huge fenced area here with all my livestock. You can see that maybe we can grab some uh, some meal from the sheep. Yeah, there's some. Doesn't hurt. Fill up the stocks. Eventually, I want to split uh, sheep one side, cows one side, pigs one side, but so far they're all in the same, in the same, uh, same area. Mostly for simplicity, I didn't have time to, like I said, plan where I wanted my farmlands, where I wanted everything. I just had this huge flat area in the hilly uh, section. So I was like, well, why not use this flat area to uh, 
to put some livestock on it. Here you can see my uh, colored stuff. The thing goes there. And uh, that's it for the wool. Let's go for the wood. Uh, we've got the beach and the dark wood up here. So, yeah, let's just go to bed and let's see in the morning where we can go next with this. Because I've been mining a lot yesterday. So, we're going to get. To building really really soon all right how about let's go let's go in the uh, let's go finish the blacksmith area let's see what we're gonna need We're using kind of dark sandstone slash uh, red sandstone, cobblestone stuff, mm. and mostly oak. That's pretty vanilla. It's just oak all around. Do I really want to keep walls as they are? I think I will. I'm gonna need some more, um, some more Tudor frames. Some more windows for sure. All right. Any doors? I'm gonna need more uh, wood. Basically, that's firewood for the uh, furnace down there. I really like this uh, this roof section. Um. Next, we've got. We're gonna need it for some stairs. We want to go up here, which is gonna be the top floor slash attic section. It's probably like I want it to be just half halfway through the uh, the entire house to separate a bit. I really didn't need this, that much space for just one blacksmith and the family. So let's go get the materials we need. Fill our inventory. We're gonna have to put on this house. So we're gonna need for sure more stairs, more railings. Um, possibly the old wood beam supports that I've been using. Um, doors certainly. Then just regular stairs. Bit of those. All right. I'm not gonna need be needing this row and tree sapling for sure. Then here we've got Tudor box frames. So I'm gonna take pretty much everything I've got in uh, Tudor except the red one. These are the gray ones. So I'm gonna leave it there. And we're gonna need some thatch for the roof, but not yet. We're gonna need to keep harvesting some of these crops. All right. Oh, and by the way, if you guys have some uh, some suggestions to improve the stream, stuff you'd like, stuff you don't like, just let me know in the chat or in uh, on my Twitter, basically. I'm a really open guy. Um, okay, so staircase. Is that really the best way of doing a staircase? I really don't know. Should I be doing like a circular staircase or L-shaped staircase beside instead of straight one? Like we're pretty pretty limited sideways. Like we've got five blocks up. So there is uh, the way this building was made is 
as follows. There's four blocks per uh, story. Then there's always the floor and another four blocks and another uh, layer. So to go up one floor, it's always five blocks. So that's why I'm pretty limited with uh, doing it this way because I'd be running short of one block in this direction unless I make an L shape staircase which would give me a bit more space to work around in this area and you know what I really don't hate this idea what I'm gonna do is gonna clear this place like so I'm gonna put Staircase going up like this. We can build this up. All right. Um, I'm missing this one here. All right. So we end up pretty much in the chimney already. Am I outside of? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm ending up in a wall. Hmm. This is somewhat frustrating. So I don't think I'm gonna have a choice. I'm gonna make this thing bend here. Maybe like that. And I'm gonna put. Eight. Well, I don't have any. Um, let me just bring chest. Obviously. Okay. Let's bring our chest here. Let's make oak trap doors like that. And like so. And around here we're gonna make some more straight railing using these. Well, not enough. And I think it's those, yeah. And we're missing a few a few sticks. We're gonna have to harvest an oak tree in a minute. Pretty sure we're gonna need more dough, so might as well use them up. Okay. And yeah, we've got this right here. that always safety first people guard rails and then we're gonna build Oops. around it And I think that's a pretty good idea that this turns because there's going to be a, like a roof slope, right? Like diagonally like this. So it's a pretty good thing that I don't want to end up into a really low ceiling in this place. The ceiling is going to be pretty, pretty low at this place. So that's a good thing. This was to put these on. It's already sundown. Days are going really, really fast. 
So I'm gonna change the way the stairs come up and I hope this doesn't mess up too much my chimney here. Like I want to reuse the same chimney as the the blacksmith furnace below, but maybe it's not the best thing. We'll see. Otherwise, I could just put on another chimney somewhere. Yikes. Need some trapdoor right below this. Need those. Taking these railings off. Oh, sorry about that. Took out the pillar. I'm gonna be able to extend this all the way through. Sorry about that. like super slow. I think I'm gonna be turning the shaders off a bit. Just to uh, to get it a bit more fluid. Sorry about that. All right, and who? It's really pitch black. So before monsters start appearing in this place, might as well put some. I don't think it's the lighting itself is way too dark. There we go. Bit more manageable, and like we've got the FPS back around 60. Good. Much more fluid. I like it. All right. If you guys know how to make sure that the shaders don't mess up too much with my streams, please let me know. And let's just finish with this. We need some slabs. Let's make another set of slabs. There we go. Like that. Go grab this. Um. Space for this one. It's not an issue, but we're gonna need some more. Like this, and like this. And I would 
love one like that. All right. We've got our reeling done. Get some more street reeling here. Sadly, we're still missing one. What I'm gonna do is go back home, sleep the night off. Let's drop a door while we're at it. Wrong way. Like that. Okay. We've got our door. Let's get hurt. And uh, next end of the day, I'm gonna get some crops. So, we need sticks. How might I just. Might as well get sticks here. Need some chests as well. What else do I need? Gonna need stairs. Well, I already got stairs. Alright. Yeah, that's torches I wanted. Um, I don't have much charcoal. Sorry about that. I could use these to make charcoal. Sorry about that, my friend, but I'm gonna make charcoal out of this and put you guys back into the queue. It's partially automatic, like you can see, it's the, f the feeding for items is automatic, but the exit is not yet. Gonna have to expand on that, but mostly it was just to to be able to queue items to be uh, to be cooked or smelted. You put this delicious pork chop back in the chest. Gonna wait for. One more charcoal and gotta have enough torches to light up the whole house. There you go. Twenty torches, we're good to go. How I love when it's fluid. I'll grab some more berries, a road. There we go. Back to sixty-four. Ate it a couple. Let's get back a couple. Okay. Um, I wanted to take down some trees, but I'm still pretty filled up, so it's gonna have to wait. Let's go ahead with the railing over here. Like that. That's it. And I don't like that there is a gap here. I should probably change these two for a staircase. Just so there's kind of a connection made there with the rails. There you go. And put this here or should I? Should I just use it like inset? I think I'm gonna inset them instead. Much better like that. And it's gonna leave the room free inside to put some stuff in case we need it. Will you please put a rail on it? No, not this way. Come on. Then. There you go. There you go. Okay. So we've got a railing here so we don't fall off the staircase. So pretty much 
their whole space here is going to be usable. All right, now up there I was missing straight. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, I've had those there. Upstairs, railings. I think what I'm gonna do is gonna be a uh, kind of a central foyer with a, a chimney here in the corner, basically. Probably in this corner. It's gonna heat this whole area. Alright. Oh, let's use the stairs to make the the roof kind of cross section. Um, so one off like this with the overhang over there. And this is gonna end like this, like this, like that, all the way here. Remove this part. Keep the overhang as well. This thing goes on this side. I'm really working on the base rough shape. Uh, for this the chimney, I'm gonna need some more stone blocks. Put this here. This I don't need right now. The travertine block as well. This might not be needed just yet. Stairs, we're pretty much done. Probably I'm gonna put on some. Uh, could put the chest here. That'd be a good place to. Uh, Away some area like so. So easily accessible, even though it's completely out of reach. It's a game, people. You don't need to be in front of the, ch the chest to open it. I'm gonna put this here. All right. I think I'm gonna keep this smelting station there. There's no harm in having two two fireplace. Alright. Could be a cooking uh, cooking place. Alright. Should I should I put this here or no it blocks the way. Okay. If you see me struggling in this house, it's because it's it's even. <laughs> I most of my buildings are always like uh, odd numbered uh, size. This one is even, and I look like a complete maniac going around and around. It's because I really don't see how to go about it. I wanted to change myself a bit and go out of the ordinary. But what am I doing? Okay. But yeah, basically it's uh, it's a challenge every time. So back in the overhang. Wood roof. Sure, I'm gonna keep this tree so close to the house. If it's not causing me too much problems, I would very much keep it intact, but it's in the way. <laughs> Might as well just leave it there for now. And so this is gonna be the roof cross section. It's not really not really high, isn't it? Is that the middle yet? No. That's gonna be the middle. 
Yeah, that's super. That's super tight. I won't be able to make it this way. I'm gonna hit my head on the ceiling for sure. Let me just see. This is not even too high. That's completely unacceptable. So what I'm gonna do is like the um, the buildings over there. It's gonna be a little bit more angled. Instead of stairs, we're gonna be using vertical slabs. To raise the roof way, 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 uh, way faster. Oh! This should prevent us from hitting our heads. What you see, this one is uh, it's vertical slabs all the way up. Only the first layer is a stair, so I'm gonna be using the same some kind of pattern on this one. I'm gonna grab what I've got left of. Vertical slabs. Are we done for the crops yet? Not quite. Make sure we harvest the uh, the crops to um to make the thatch that's gonna go on the roof. It's really it's really nice how we need to keep everything in check for the survival game like you need to to plan ahead how you're going to get your materials mostly on the renewable stuff like the the thatch you need quite a few uh like to to make just my house i think it's been maybe eight or nine of these crops if not more and there's more than 20 crops for the uh the guild house roof it's extremely, extremely resource uh, intensive. Just gonna light the place up while it gets dark. Okay, so let's make the most uh, vertical slabs again. So we're gonna need quite a bit. There you go. So it's going to come up like this, 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 this. Sorry about that. This, this, in the middle yet, not quite. This, this, I think this is the middle. We're gonna see what we're gonna do the opposite side. Branches are Causing me some troubles. It's pretty dark without the shaders lighting the way. There we go. Oh yeah, and I forgot. The reason why the blacksmith is at the top of the hill like this is basically for topographical reasons. Let me bring up the map and the topographic map. Sorry. As you can see, this whole area is a hill, and I was hoping that 
eventually this becomes a castle so why not make uh, the blacksmith within the castle walls like let's say I would build walls around this uh, this pale section here that would be the uh, the inner castle with houses going all around it and more uh, more uh, buildings going all the way so I would love I would love to have this whole area built as a city so that's the general plan general idea of it so that's why the blacksmith the starting blacksmith is over there I needed one put it in the castle that is still to be let's do the butter overhang Are we aligned? No, there's one missing. Like that. Okay. I hear some growling down there. Better not fall or gonna have some combat to do. Might as well grab a bite. Just in case. We fall, we're gonna need all our forces all our energies and yes this entire village is built on berry berries and the strength of my arms <laughs> gonna make the cross beam like so opposite side so we've got a roof shape and next is going to be the thatching there we go so when we come up here we're going to be two blocks high which is going to be plenty enough but not too much so it's exaggerated so it should be fine we're going to be able to See down here, it's pretty much going to be just a bedroom up here, with the bed likely to be in this this place right there, probably two or three beds, I don't know. How huge is a blacksmith family really? I guess it depends on the region and on the uh, person itself. So what I was not liking with these uh, tutor framing things is like they're not I, I, I don't like these gigantic full section like that I want to break them apart somehow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break those and I'm gonna make sure they are in other block type so the connected texture stops and it does like it should on the uh, like it did on the the guild house. Also in the um, in the next buildings, I would like to introduce somewhat of a different style because it's been three buildings I've done with Tudor uh, framing. It's looking good, it looks medieval, but that's not that's not the, the exclusive way of doing things, you know. So I'm gonna grab these and turn these into the uh, stone vertical connection. Is that, is that what it's about? Not the vertical connection, but I want the, the other version of it. Um Does that work like that? Hmm. Let's just check quick. I think we're gonna be in the same position as we were earlier. 
They have the same kind of bow lock. What is it? This one's a vertical slab, and this one's a vertical connection. Is that what I want? Yeah, okay, it's a different... It's a different, different block ID, so... I like to see it makes this horizontal uh, frame that I really wanted, that breaks the full uh, wall sections that I completely dreaded. It's gonna go there, I can go there, there, which is like this, this, and that. Here and there. These two. Careful with that. This there. So! Breaks a bit of the, uh, the monotone thing. Should I be maybe inverting those? So who's shooting at me? Maybe inverting those two. This one goes. What am I doing? Properly, sorry about that. That was like that, that was like that. This and that. I don't know, I like. I like more kind of a vertical window style. Than the big square ones. They're gonna have to, to do on the sides. Although I could. Even on the sides, I could switch it up and. small windows like this. I think I prefer this to one huge window. Honestly. I really prefer this. Sorry. That's what happens a lot. If you don't like something, you change it up. What? <laughs> Where did this block come from? Window block. There and there. I like it. I really like it. And, um, well, if you see here the framing, basically it just matches the, the slope on the other side. So that's why you see the, the gigantic framing section there. I see people dying. Ah! I'm trying to get the XP. Okay. That was the only one left alive, or are there more? There's another one. Let's get his XP. Let's go. And I'm gonna be enchanting more tools and weapons in the near future. And that's that. Okay. Let's go back up. Would have been a better idea to put the furnace, like the stairs, the complete other way. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna have um, so we put this way. I'm gonna need space here. Okay. We're gonna need more of these Tudor frames. This is the forward slash, this is the backslash with some backslash there. Let's make backslash walls. Wait, we've got backslash walls. Forget it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna need more. Gonna have to make more of these people. So what I want is this one like that. So the opposite side is this way exactly. Okay. Oh, 
like that. I'm gonna do the opposite here, there, and there, here, and there. Cool. Ah! Gonna be doing the same on the opposite side. This and that. Here and there. And I completely jump off the roof. If you guys wonder why I put railing on stuff, is really because I know myself so 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 well. And always falling. I hate gravity, but love it at the same time. As you can see in the back, we see the uh, kind of the Mesa Extreme biome over there. It's gonna look really cool when we've got a castle built around here. But we're not there yet. Should I be putting windows in the top section? Well, I think it's going to be full wall like that. And we're missing one, obviously. So we're missing a... Which one of those? We're missing a forward slash. Come on. <laughs> Building in the trees. Okay. Well, we got forward slash here with forward slash trap door. There we go. One of the reasons why I've used the tutor boxing so far is that I've never quite managed to make it the way I'm making it this time around. And it's pretty much how I've always wanted to make it. Ah! That's why this village is starting with this style, but I want to introduce slowly more styles that do fit around it. Like we've seen the um, my house and the blacksmith have a cobblestone kind of first floor, but the um, the guild house is is whitewashed. I'm going to use um, white blocks, white or gray blocks quite a lot, but they're resource expensive. Um, next, we're going to need going to be needing those. So we're going to have to make more of those. So, let's go to my Tutor box making station. There's nothing in here we're gonna need, so we're gonna need a fold of sand. Certainly gonna use this plaster. And we're gonna need some bone meal as well. I wonder how much bone meal we've got. Quite a lot there. Yeah. Oh, we got 36 bones more. Um, and we're gonna need sand. Grab all the sand we can. And before it gets dark, let's go up the river. Up, up, up the river, past the crops. This is my magic area to make clear, clean, white plaster. Just like that. A river, a water source. Goes much faster. Because we need a filled bucket. Every recipe. I'm not a fan of recipes using 
buckets of water or buckets of ink maybe. Because it's always a mess to gather. We're already out of bone meal. Do we have oh we've got 50 plaster. Should be should be okay. Now it's getting dark. I'm just gonna grab those for the chimney. And do I have enough sticks? I'm gonna make more sticks. Like that. Circle around. Like this. Gonna get rid of everything that's not useful to me right now. In case your beam we don't need, straight beam we don't need. Okay. So we're gonna get plenty of white tutor style like this. Get finish the walls. There we go. All right. So we're pretty much at the thatching. Now let's go. Let's go pick up some crops. Before it gets too dark, we're really short on time. Oh, <laughs> you scared me there, sheep. I was wondering what kind of blue thing was chasing after me. You escaped from my little pen, my friend, I think. There's one more that grew there. Let's grab it. Can make a difference. So let's see what we've got here. We've got 11 of those, tons and tons of those. I'm gonna put back the railing and the Terrace, we don't need those anymore. Same for the oak stairs, I think. And we can put this back in here. Let's Sorry. Those. Let's make as many. Just close the doors before monsters come in. Let's make as many hay bales as we can. See, I said the last one would make a difference. I was wrong. And we need some plants. Let's go with the dark red bracken because I want to make it the dark thatch roof. Like it's the case with my house. Like that. It's going to be amazing, although it's going to be a different color than it is on. The over uh, the overhang part above the uh, the anvil. It's not no biggie. 
I'm going to manage. Got those, and I've got a few left. A few more than a few. So let's, let's just see. Do I have some more lab left? Give me a scientific case. Let's just see. Let me make rustic beds. I hear monsters coming. We might have to see my my doggy surveillance system work. I grab flowers. I didn't want flowers. Let's put this in here. So, you see my doggy surveillance system is waking up. Just gonna make a few corn seeds to replant the corn. And then we're gonna go sleep for the night. Mm. Come on, plant you there. And if you're coming too close, my dogs are gonna eat you. Should have enough to make a rustic bed, so we'll have to come back always to my place. So this, this rustic bed, I'm gonna be able to sleep over there. That's gonna be our first night in the blacksmith house. Under the stars, hopefully it doesn't rain like this. Actually, I think I might be more space uh, savvy like this. I'm gonna put like two or three beds like this. Cool. Let's get on with the tha formal thatching. Let's just raise the chimney a bit. It's gonna be missing some blocks. It's gonna have to do for the for the moment. Once this is done, I like to um, I like to um, to put some kind of structures from in, from the interior so it looks a bit more supported. First time I'm noticing this, but thatch does make such a hard notice when you place it. Like if it was wood or something. Like I'd be hammering wood. Anyway.
So we have almost used up everything we had, and there's only one side of the roof done. When I said it was resource uh, heavy, we're gonna have to wait some more crops to finish this one. And this is not aligned like the rest. That's why I broke it. To go back inside, we're gonna have to go through this side. How to go about it? Like this, maybe? No. Let's just climb it. It's aligned the same way. Ah! Dig this one off. Let's keep doing the same thing on this roof side. This one's going to be a full block. This one is going to be a full block, so I'm just going to make those quick and mix in these two. Like that. Like that. And we've almost used up everything we had. My bad. Gonna make it till the end there. Oh, and this one should be a full block. Oh, I forgot full blocks on this side. And a full block at the top. It's not even full blocks at the top. Well, I messed up. Should be a full block and this one as well. So we're gonna have to wait for the next oh. harvest. In the meantime, we're gonna need some more windows and some furniture. Let's go grab a few desks. For that, we're gonna make. Grab what's finished growing. Grab some food. That's not much. I'm gonna have to make some larger fields eventually. Probably on the uh, the east bank here that's pretty um it's pretty flat this side and there's not much trees or uh or forest growing on this side could make it a field So I said windows, windows, 
and an end desk. For that, we need birch wood. Gonna grab those, and we're gonna need some sticks as well. My mistake. That's how much I want my crops. <laughs> and there's one done. That's enough. I need to make the detour. Alright, so we need a beast there. And the desk. Crafting table is not going to be there. Okay, how do we furnish this place? This obviously needs some place around it. That's where we're going to be drying the wood. Um, should probably make a ladder to climb up here from outside. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I make a crafting table pretty much there. How do we make the big ladder? The oak slabs. Let's make some more oak slabs then. Might need some one, one more like this. Might as well put it here. Go. That's easy enough. Next, these are gonna be broken down. That's where we'd be chopping wood from the wood there. And put it in the furnace right here. I wonder if I think there's some kind of bellows if I'm not mistaken in that's unobtainable yeah there's bellows unobtainable so I'm gonna use creative mode for that like this goes into the furnace Back in survival. So if you were not there at the start of the stream, well, I said it the first thing that I was cheating. So I don't care. All right. So I'm gonna have a dining table probably around here, and this is gonna be a living room. So let's make kind of a dining dining table there. Pretty much in the way. Let's push it this way. This is gonna be kind of a. That's where cooking is gonna happen. This could be the cooking table or something. I'm gonna make some some stools and chairs. It requires spruce wood. Uh, half, half the time is fetching the materials to build stuff. So, 
Maybe some buckets are going to be useful. Maybe some um, hanging fish. Rope never hurts. Got some bottle of wine, but cupboards. Spice rack could be of use. Uh, I don't need any windows anymore. Just going to chop these off. Leave the clippers there. Oh yeah, this is my important chest. <laughs> Everything that's valuable. Put these together. Um, perhaps I could make a book with an ink pot for the uh, the ledger. I'm pretty done with this. This, 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 and this, and this. This. Um, we're done with sand as well. We won't be needing a brown thatch there. So. I don't hate the candles. I wanted another furnace to make kind of a central fireplace and uh, what did I want this kind of those put the charcoal in here torches while we're at it and we've got chests now shutters not really tree stuff we've already got that oh yeah that's what we need let's bring the stack of spruce wood Waiting on those because I want to make a black pot. This is going to be for the ledger and the black pots. Like that. Okay, let's make. Let's, let's dye them black. one black pot that's going in the guild house over there there we go I'm gonna have to think about how I'm gonna furnish my place eventually I don't have I don't even have like chimney or fireplace or anything to keep it warm besides the a very functional smelting thing in the basement that I'm not fully fond of. So this is gonna look like kind of stew thing. Let's make some uh, chairs. We're gonna need these, I think. It's going to be the dining room slash living area. Where are the chairs? Where did I, where did I put the chairs? Oh, they're in, <laughs> in my offhand. Might as well be looking for them. Let's do a couple more. Finish this. There we go. 
this tiny little house can have a family of six. <laughs> um, let's put the business ledger there. We need some more wood. I wish I had bigger uh, logs. Um, gonna have to fish. Should be hanging from a rope over here, like that. That's good. That's good. And we're gonna be putting some copper right there. I don't know. Does that look good? Quite sure. Maybe oriented the other way like this. Like that. Maybe with some spices level here. <clears throat> and perhaps this side as well. like tall cabinets I'd really much appreciate to put something in the back of those let's put some birch siding behind it there you go looks awful looks plainly terrible I regret doing that. How about some spruce siding? Somewhat better. Should I be putting this there? to make a division of some kind of why can't you put me the drawers in the back and the cupboards on the top come on help me here bro so this kind of makes a division between both living spaces of both function should probably be putting this up into the roof like that I've got a full kitchen some counter space to work on. Bucket is always useful. I should probably also have a what what should we have? Uh, maybe some uh, sorry about that. I'm gonna grab some meat sausages or something but I think it's iron heavy to make those let me just check sausage or meat no I just got the sausage so it's raw pork chops so it's one iron bar and two raw pork chops and we don't have that many raw pork chops now that we've cooked them. That's good, but let's just grab this and I'm gonna go and feed the, uh, the pigs with that and that. Mm -hmm. 
get a doggy army. Thanks to me. Sausages. There we go. Oops. How about we go through up here? Or oh, change. This is a block there. Might as well use. Oh, we don't like where this is placed. Um, might need some chains or something. Oh, scratching my head right now. I wish it was hung there. Does it look good with the... Okay, just a metal hook with the rope. Not too bad. So, yep, that's where we keep those. And we should probably get a... Uh, what kind of crate could we make? Um, got some wheat with a hay bale. Got some cabbage, but I don't have cabbage, I don't have hops. I do have some grapes. And I do have some beetroot. So I think I think I'm gonna get some beetroots. Make a crate out of those. Oh! And pretty oh! much where I'm gonna end the stream. It's streaming it's streaming for quite a while. Uh Beetroot, so it's a pile of beetroot. A pile of beetroot is a beetroot, and it's an empty crate. An empty crate is made out of five oak slabs. You just make plenty of empty crates. Let's make plenty of beetroot piles Let's make two of those one from a house one and maybe like make it three one for each house and we've got all those All right, and what else do we make? What about a crate of apples? Although I wish I could keep the apples. 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep the apples to make golden apples to come to ventures down the road. Maybe a crate of grape. Is eight. Well, there we go. There and there, and this is done. So I'm gonna grab one crate for here. Let's bring them beetroots. Oh, I must have made a terrible hole. There you go. Just everything while we're at it. So there. Put this against the closer there. And the grape. Grape could come here. Let's just go. Finish the kitchen. Sausages that I want to put here. So not eating only fish. Like that. Great. So it's getting pretty detailed in the interior. I like it. Next stream, I might be going on the um, on the east side. I'm going to show you in a bit. some more crops because I need more resources like that or I'm going to put it flat on the corner so that's about it let's just go into bed quickly and let's switch to creative the conclusion of this stream guys So yeah, all this eastern bank of, well it's probably here that I've been making huge crops in this area and leave the uh, the hill section to the, where I would like to build the castle. So I think these flatlands down here would be perfect for more crops. It would be expanding this this whole area away from the uh, away from the ocean a bit. It's gonna be pretty fun, and I like how the the dark thatch roof looks like from up here. Probably be gonna like maybe it seems a bit bland. It's just a box with wood squares. I don't know. It's a bit too boxy. I wanted to make it more detailed. Like you can see, this this section here is very detailed with all the the railings and the stairs used as support. That's what I wanted to do inside, but turns out I'm I didn't plan properly this place. Well, that's fine, it's just one house out of so many. So this is it guys, thank you so much for watching, follow me on all my social media, 
on Twitter, Instagram, where I post pictures and updates. And follow my YouTube channel, Sam Made Channel. And uh, don't forget to follow me here on Twitch as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Goodbye. Summer in the hills, those hazy days I do remember. We were running still, had the whole world at our feet, watching seasons change.